Today, we have the pleasure of having with us Marios Hatsidimou from Greece, the gold medal winner of the UPU's 2012 International Letter Writing Competition for Young People. This is the first time in the competition's history that Greece wins the gold medal, and it's a wonderful accomplishment. Greece is also one of the few industrialized countries that participates in our competition, and I really hope that it will inspire others to follow in their footsteps. This year, the UPU asked young writers to write a letter to an athlete or a sports personality that they admired, to tell them what the Olympic Games meant to them. We were sure that it would inspire some excellent compositions, and we were not disappointed. Our minds are still full of wonderful memories from the Summer Olympics hosted by London. It's safe to say that the international jury also had an Olympic task just trying to select the top three winners out of 55 outstanding compositions we received from member countries. And we thank everyone who participated and urge more of you to take part in future. Despite the high quality of the submissions, the international jury was unanimous in awarding the gold medal to Marios Hatsidimou for his beautifully, beautifully written letter to none other than the world's greatest tennis man, Roger Federer. The jury complimented the simple and creative writing style of Marios, saying that the composition was original, very personal, and stylistically creative. The jury noted how the modern and historic Olympic values came out very strongly in his compositions, which was clearly one of the goals of the competition theme. Now to our winner. Before asking him to come read this, his letter to you, uh, let me introduce him with a few additional details. Marios is 14 years old and lives in the city of Yanitsa in northern Greece. He lives with his parents and four other brothers. In addition to being an avid tennis player, he enjoys reading and wants to be a historian when he grows up. And when you hear the content of his letter, you will see why. So without further ado, let's invite him now to read the letter that earned him the top prize in our competition. He will read his letter in Greek with simultaneous interpretation in all the UPU languages. Please welcome Marios. And the International Olympic Committee has also graciously donated the ambassador to the, the presentation of the prizes by the International Olympic Committee. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I'll ask the guests to return to their seats, please. So, Marios, please come with me. Um, we, re we really wish that Roger Federer could have been with us today, but it was simply impossible uh, for him to be here. But, nevertheless, he is aware of this ceremony, and he has sent you a personal message, which I would like to read to you. And as I read this message, I would like to ask Roger Federer's personal letter carrier in the person of Mr. Marc Fuhrer, a Secretary of State from Switzerland, to please come forward to hand deliver the letter from Roger Federer. But let me read the message that he is sending Mario. Dear Marios, congratulations for your letter, which touched me very much. You are one of thousands of my fans, but surely one of the few who has exceptional writing talents. I do encourage you to keep on writing and playing tennis because this prize is a first victory for you, which I'm sure is just the beginning of many more achievements in your life to come. I really encourage you to do your best with whatever you take on in the future. 
With the popularity of electronic communications today, I welcome the UPU's initiative to foster youngsters' letter writing skills, and I encourage the UPU to go ahead with this competition, which gives youngsters the opportunity to voice their opinions through letters about the state of the world and other positive events. With sporty, re with sporty regards, the, the letter is signed by Roger Federer. So, Mr. Fura. So, um, that's the letter signed by Roger Federer. And it's a special thing to be the postman of Roger Federer. So, also from our side, congratulations, Marius. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much, Mr. Furrer. I'll ask you to stay for a few seconds because uh, I believe Marius also has something for Mr. Federer himself. Um, Marius' mother will come forward and present this. It's a tennis racket and <laughs> with a, a picture of Roger Federer that is wood-burned by Marius himself. But I would like Marius to explain to you the personal significance of this gift. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit about uh, this tennis racket. Uh, so it's the first racket, uh, tennis racket for my family. It's uh, a Santa Claus present of my older brother. Uh, so um, this is my beloved uh, racket, I give it to my beloved athlete. But it's not for playing tennis, but it, and it's a portrait of Roger Federer. A very original gift. So I'm glad as Roger Federer gets more and more difficulties to beat Djokovic, I'm very glad he has now the right racket. Okay. Well, we'll make sure that uh, Mr. Fura will make sure that this gift gets to Roger Federer, and I'm sure he thanks you from the bottom of his heart for this.